Hello everyone, welcome to Tyrant Unleashed, episode number 17. I'm your host, Zodiac King, and in this episode we'll be doing a 100 basic pack opening. Also, I'm going to go ahead and open two epic packs. Um, not really shooting for anything in particular, I just uh, figured let's spend a couple bucks and see where we go with it. And uh, you guys can get an update as to where I'm headed with the deck here, which, uh, as you should know, I'm in on my way to my second assailant. So, let's go ahead and get started with the basic pack opening. Just looking for as much SP as possible, as always. been thinking a lot about what direction to take after assailant and knowing that um, I really don't have much going for me in surge mode I'm kind of really considering going purifier but uh, we'll see what happens after this in the epic packs but uh, I think that's the direction I should take and then probably spiteful again after that but I guess anything can change I know what uh, uh, Zodiac Harbinger, or Zodiac Harbinger, those are definitely not something I'm interested in right away, but I see a lot of them being used in in uh, multi-decks, or uh, rainbow decks, if you will, which is really surprising, but knowing that I can make those two has uh, really had my, my head ticking. Um, I think, I mean, yeah, there's the obvious, like, Noble Defiance, or the new constrictor that came out which uh, looks pretty interesting but um, like I said I still got, I got a long way to go before I'm anywhere close to that uh, 40 of them alright let's keep going another card that I haven't gotten ever yet would be the, the Malgoth there um, or I believe that's what the legendary uh, bloodthirsty is. Uh, there's a lot of good combinations for it now, so it's something to look into. I don't know that I'd want to go uh, mono BT, but it's a those are pretty solid cards too. So especially knowing I can get two spiteful raptors, that's a pretty strong base to build off from. Probably have to do one more uh, clear out before I finish up all the gold here. Oh, on the Mulgoth there. Oh. Alright, one more time. I'm at, uh, where are we at here? I'm doing the Nimbus next, because I already maxed out the Absorption Shield, so I just got the 150 here. So I'll be able to start the Wind Reaver, which will be awesome. I won't be that far away. Come on, a couple more rares. Alright, there's one. And two, nice. Alright, let's just, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and buy two more basic packs. Alright, and let's go ahead and buy some epic packs. A fourth vigil. 
Huh. I have to look up what the, the quad is for Vigil, but I probably wouldn't go out of my way to get it. And another Draconian Queen. Yikes. Alright. Oh, going to upgrade. Yeah, I had gotten uh, another Draconian Queen um, from the daily pack. Well, I think it was two days ago, so got plenty of those to go around. Just going to clear out all of these real quick. As you can see here, I have four level ones, which is just frustrating. Oh, and I also have a level four here. Uh, two smogs, two level one blights, two level four blights, a level five agus. Here's the, the base wind reaver I'll be working on next. The max shield. Three Havoc, three Bulldozer, oh. a level four Iron, and a base Missile. Now you can see I have four um, level one Vigil, which sucks currently. Um, three Containment level one, one level four, the two Fanatics, the Demon, to Zilla Fang, level 5, Xanadu, times 2, the second Tartarus Scion, a level 2 Nimbus, that was a mistake on my part, I, for whatever reason, leveled that up after the first one. This one, actually, I will upgrade now. So now I'm done with that, and... Uh, a Tazrock, which I'm planning on putting in my deck once I can get the second one. It's, it's going to be difficult. I'm still a long way from being able to beat that side quest. But while we're here, I'll just go ahead and upgrade this toys. And uh, the new event started, which has helped me get the gold. I'm on level 5 for the GDR here, so it hasn't been too bad so far. I mean, obviously it's not really difficult to get to level 10, but uh, I'll be sure to keep you guys informed of how that's going. And uh, all in all, not bad. I need to know, you know, what should I go towards. Um, and I'm, I'm really considering salvaging some epics here because there's a way too much that I'm probably ever going to work on. So give me your thoughts. Um, I mean, the more SP, the better, but obviously a lot of people complain about fusing epics, or legendaries for that matter, um, just for the fact of how hard they can be to get. So again, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for updates and fusions. Thanks, guys.